Ugh. All right, so I have a Discord, and in that Discord, I have some illustrated porn sharing channels. Because people like porn. Recently, one of my mods was reported by another user for posting an illustration of an adult character wearing a diaper. The person claimed it was child porn and against the rules of Discord, going as far as to report them to Discord for a violation of terms of service. I thought... Well, that's stupid. Drawings can't possibly be against the Discord guidelines, but as it turns out, they can. Discord, in their own words, does not allow sharing illustrated pornography which depicts minors, and goes on to list the examples of Lolicon and Shotokan. I actually had to look up what that even meant, but basically they're talking about porn of underage anime characters. Now this sort of pornography isn't my thing, but I still think it's extremely silly to try and enforce this kind of equivalence between real-life child porn and drawings of nude anime characters. And even if you do, where do you draw the line between what is and isn't a minor when it's an illustration? It's wide and blurry at best, and takes away people's freedom to view this kind of art in exchange for a non-existent increase in safety. Who is it hurting? Who is being exploited when people draw these bobble-headed, dinner-plate-eyed characters nude? How do you even know the age of these characters? They barely look human half the time. On top of that, aren't drawn characters whatever age the artist says they are? And even if you did have another way of knowing their age, by which country's laws are they considered a minor? The country it's being viewed in, the country the artist drew it in, or the age of consent in whatever fantasy world that these characters inhabit? As a person who enjoys his own brand of illustrated fantasy porn, I find this attitude some people have about aforementioned art kind of revolting, and if you still aren't convinced, let me explain just how silly this shit is. Anime is a very broad style of art that takes place in a variety of settings. It's pretty common for characters who appear very young to actually be a 3,000 year old vampire or something. Where do we draw the line there? It's also common for characters who are very young to be drawn as though they are much older. Take Ichigo Kurosaki for example. From his height and muscular build, one would assume he's somewhere in his 20s maybe. Canonically, he's only 15 years old. Any 30-year-olds in the audience that still like Sailor Moon? Well, her tall and slender form may make her look like a young adult, but she's actually 14. Sorry, you're all pedophiles, I guess. What about a character like Haku, who, spoiler alert, is the ancient spirit of a river who sometimes takes the form of a dragon and sometimes takes the form of an adolescent boy? Where do you begin to draw the line with that? I suppose you could say, if it looks like a minor, then it's not allowed, but I just find that standard to be far too subjective. If we were to apply that same logic to real life, I guess I'd be considered jailbait because people thought I was still in high school until I was around 25 years old. And I feel like you'd be hard pressed to find any 18 year olds that look significantly different than when they were 15. And like I said before, sometimes when I see anime characters, they barely look human to begin with, or are drawn in an art style where it's impossible to get a good sense of age. Some artist styles make everything look a bit younger than others, and you need to be familiar with that artist style before you can judge the age of their characters. And it's even more of a blurry line when we're talking about non-human characters. Let's take a look at the Teen Titans, for example. We know they're teens, but we don't know how teen they are. You know, there's a huge difference between 13 and 18, especially when we're talking about in a legal sense. Cyborg is a half-robot with knowledge and intelligence far exceeding a normal human of his age, which we don't even know, by the way. Does having a computer for a brain supersede the whole age thing? Is porn of him considered pedophilia or technophilia? Raven and Starfire aren't even human, so where do you begin with them? Do you still want to use the argument, well, it's about what the body looks like, not the mind? Because if that's the case, then sex with either of those two, as non-humans, would be considered bestiality of some kind, wouldn't it? And speaking of bestiality, what about our friend Beast Boy? He has the intelligence of a human but can transform into animals. Would that be considered pedophilia or bestiality? It can't be both because he'd have to go by dog years or whatever when he's in an animal form, so even if he was 15 or so, he'd be like 60 as an animal, right? But it gets even crazier. What about furry characters? Characters who are part human and part animal. Now these characters come from a variety of universes, including ones in which the characters age at an accelerated rate, as animals do. So do you go by the fact that they are fully adult and sexually mature, or do you go by the fact that they are canonically only a few years old? And if you aren't going to go by age and instead go by looks, what about furry characters that are a species that always looks young or cute or small, no matter how old they are? 
I knew of an artist who drew porn of My Little Pony characters and had some of her art removed from the website she posted on because it was deemed child pornography. And that was really odd to me because we're not even talking about characters that resemble humans or children anymore. We're talking about cartoon animals that barely resemble their real life counterparts. Did someone ask the creators of the show the age of their characters and also the age of consent in Ponyland? Somehow I doubt it. From the limited knowledge I have of My Little Pony, the characters in that show have jobs and live on their own, so we can assume they're adults, can't we? There are people who talk about banning porn of unevolved Pokemon because it resembles child porn. Unevolved Pokemon! Oh yes, that Eevee is small and therefore a child. Let me go ahead and use a Firestone on it. There we go, now it's reached age of consent, I guess, even though it was literally hatched 10 seconds ago. Do you see how silly this shit is? These lines of what is and isn't allowed as illustrated porn are completely arbitrary. And I already know what the counter-arguments are going to be. Whoa, child porn is bad! Yes, no shit, but this isn't child porn. It's like people forget that the reason that things like child pornography are bad is because it hurts and exploits actual children. An artist making these illustrations hurts and exploits no one. And no, I don't believe that looking at this kind of porn turns people into pedophiles. People have agency. They are in charge of their own actions. It's the same argument that people try to make that playing violent video games makes people violent. No amount of looking at porn is going to make you molest someone. Someone, just like no amount of playing Overwatch is going to make me press Reaper's Q in a crowded building. The whole idea of banning certain kinds of art because it has a fetish that you don't like is authoritarian, frankly. It's a dangerous road to travel because now you're saying that art isn't sacrosanct. The fact that it was a furry who had a fit over this in the first place is kind of astonishing to me. Don't you understand that there are people who consider furry porn to be bestiality and want it banned, just like they want Lollicon or whatever banned? If we go down this path, then pretty soon we're smashing windows out of churches and burning nativity scenes because they show pedophilic images of Jesus' little dingle dangle. If anyone from Discord or any other site that bans certain kinds of drawn porn is watching, please rethink your rules on this. They don't really make sense and they make it a huge pain in the ass to actually moderate because now I have to constantly check in on the porn channels and make arbitrary decisions about the age of illustrated characters, many of which aren't even human. Hmm, I don't know how old she is. She looks a little young, but she might just be old enough to have reached age of consent in whatever fantasy universe she's from. Or maybe she's reached sexual maturity for her species because I'm not even sure if she's human. Let's hope the Discord mods agree with me and my server doesn't get shut down. Anyway, I'm Cothrix, and you have a wonderful day. Hey everyone, this is just a reminder that I do gameplay streams on Twitch every weekday at 9pm to 1am Eastern. If you want to get a hold of me, the best way is through Twitter. DMs are always open. Finally, I want to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon and Twitch. You make all of this possible.